Now that the plastic wrapper is gone, remove these big leaves using your paring knife. But don't tear apart the head of the cauliflower. Keep it whole. Welcome to Healthy Vegan Living! Next we're going to do is we're going to wash it quickly and we're going to soak it. The longer you soak it, the less sulfur smell you'll have or taste in your cauliflower. See if you can cut off, like I'm going to let my board out, this layer right here. Okay, so that way then the fresh smell of the cauliflower will come out. Okay, there's some spots on here, just cut them off. Now you see this is a large bowl and I have the cauliflower in and yet it's not covered up. So I'm going to get a stock pot so I can cover the entire thing up. Now we're going to leave the cauliflower, you see how it's floating, in the water for at least an hour. If you don't have an hour, half an hour. If you have a chance to be able to change the water in between, that'd be wonderful too. Meanwhile, we're not just going to waste the time. We're going to take a steamer. You're going to put it at the bottom of the Instapot. And you might as well put the water in. Put in a cup and a half in. When the cauliflower is ready, we'll put the egg in, we'll cook it for 15 minutes, and then we'll vent it. And then it'll be ready for use. Okay, so once you have the water inside, and you put the lid on, make sure the centerpiece is locked. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna set this for 15 minutes on pressure. So you're gonna press uh, manual. Oh, look, it's already at 15. But say it hadn't been on 15, you could have just pressed the plus button to make it 15. You're gonna leave it alone. It's gonna take five minutes to come to pressure, 15 minutes of pressure, that's 20 minutes. Then we're gonna fast vent it and it'll be all ready. Okay, is it time for it to come out? When it does that, you know it's ready. Pick up the lid. Turn off the power. Oh, it's already off. It's a little in a safe place. And look, the cauliflower is basically falling apart. But that means it's going to be all that much tender for you to add butter to it and just eat it up. Now we're going to let it cool a little bit, but what we're going to basically do is we're going to put it into this plastic container right over here. And that way we'll be able to have some for, for a little light snack for tomorrow. We're going to let this cool over here for about 10 minutes and then we're going to stick it in the fridge. This is so good, it's delicious just like it is. It doesn't add that sulfur smell at all or that taste. It's so well cooked that you don't even need any butter on it. It's so creamy and delicious. See how easy it is to make a cauliflower in an Instapot pressure cooker? You don't have to break apart all the flour that you can cook it whole and it makes a much nicer presentation. Thanks for watching. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.